In this video, we will continue with integration of exponential functions. You will find this on page 521 in the Namibia AES level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. The diagram shows the curve y equals e to the power of 2x. The shaded region R is bounded by the curve and by the lines x is 0, y is 0, and x is equal to p. Find in terms of p the area of R. Let's start. Okay, so remember to find area. Again, you have to go back to chapter 7 if you still cannot recall it or just have to revise it. To find area, I integrate. So to find area, I integrate this equation. So basically, I'm just going to say half e 2x and it's p and 0. And then I substitute p and I substitute 0. And this is going to be the area. Okay. Now, hence calculate the value of p for which the area of r is equal to 5. Now you put this area equal to 5. And I'm just going to solve it. Okay. So take the half over. So I add. That's why I get 5 and a half. And then... I'm going to basically just 11, and then I go from exponential form to logarithmic form. So that's why the len, because of the e, len, and I swap the sides. And then I divide 2, and I get 1.2. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I think I want you to do number 2. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. The diagram shows the curve y is equal to e to the power of negative x. Okay? Um, the shaded region r is bounded by the curve and the lines y equals 1. So remember, this is the line y equals 1. And x is p, um, p, where p is a constant. Find the area of r in terms of p. Now, this is the reason why I gave you this one. Because there's an extra line in. And if you go again back to chapter 7, you will see that how do you find the area between two lines? You take the top line and you subtract the bottom curve in this case. Okay, so let's start. Number A. Now, oh, let's just um, get that. Number A. Area equals, okay. And now I'm going to take that line, so that's on top, so 1, it's just 1, and then the curve, I subtract the curve, and I integrate. Okay. Now remember, this is a constant, so basically it's just going to get an x, and this, it, oh, let's just put that negative, the negative comes down, e to the power minus x, okay. And basically, I'm just going to, because, oh, I forgot to write it in here. So I can write it just quickly in here. And they told me P, I want to know, and 0. Okay, because there is P and there is 0. And then, remember that 0 is with the integral sign. It's a bit low. Let me just, let write it a little bit higher. It's too low. I was just making it too low. So there's the zero. It's nothing to do with this. And then it's going to be P and zero. Okay. And now I'm going to substitute. So in the place of this, I'm going to be P plus E to the power negative P. Okay. And then I'm going to subtract zero. Remember it's plus E to the power negative zero. Okay. And, oh, sorry, that line, my pen, I just want to get my pen correct. Okay. So, basically, I'm just going to say P plus E to the power negative P um, minus, my, but, but don't forget, anything to the power of zero, negative zero is just zero, is one, so it's minus one. Okay. And that is going to be, show that the area of R in terms of P. That is going to be the area of R in terms of P. And then I'm starting with B. Show that the area of R is equal to 1. So this area
is equal to 1, sorry. Okay. And now I'm basically just going to, and then I just want to get the expression in terms of P. So if I get that expression in terms of P, then it's going to be P is equal to, this goes over, so it's 2 um, minus e to the power of negative p. So, actually, you can say, therefore, p is equal to, and just check, it's the same as there, 2 minus e to the power of negative p. And that is your final answer.